Well, hello everybody. This is John, and uh, I'm going to uh, go on a nice tour. We're going to try to do a four bridge uh, tri-state area or New Jersey, New York area uh, bridge crossing. So we're going to start with the Gatos Bridge, the new one, which is going to be pretty cool. The Verrazano Bridge. Then we're going to go on the uh, BQE, or we're going to take Third Avenue to uh, the Brooklyn Bridge. Then we're going to see if we can ride uptown and go over the uh, GW Bridge. And that is going to be a psycho tour. Let's go. All right. So we're at the, uh, the beginning of the uh, entrance to the Gatos Bridge. Um, I think they closed the ramp to the old one because there's a detour. So I'm going to take that detour and I'm going to turn on and we're going to see where we're going to go. So we're going to try to do the uh, four bridge crossing. The Gatos Bridge, the Verrazano Bridge, the Brooklyn Bridge. We're going to take the BQE, Gowanus, and the uh, uh, the Hamilton Expressway to the Brooklyn Bridge. And we're going to go over another bridge that goes over the Gowanus Canal. So that's a steep climb. And I'll let you know when it comes up. And we're going to try to go uptown to uh, the Verrazano Bridge. If not, we're going to you know chill out in the city for a little bit. Have some coffee and uh, go through the Holland Tunnel and uh, back into Jersey. So uh, let's get riding. I didn't want to bore you guys with the ride to here through the park and everything. Um, so let's hope the sound is good. I got a you know a windscreen, a dead cat or a dead kitten because it's a small one. <laughs> Why did they have to call it a dead cat? That's not nice. I have a kitty. And his name is Beamer. And he's a good little kitty. He eats a lot though. There. That cat could eat. So we're gonna make a left here. And hopefully we uh looks like there's traffic. What else is new? We're in New York. Going to New York. Traffic, New Jersey, traffic. I right, hope you guys can see better. I had the last ride I did, I had the GoPro on narrow. So, uh, so you weren't able to see the, uh, the front of the bike and the handlebars. So, I put it on wide now or normal or something like that. And I think it's a better view. And you can see everything. So, right now I'm on a 278 at the state. That's technically route 9. That's how everybody knows it. And, uh, from what it looks like, six gear, <laughs> from what it looks like, they built two bridges, which is smart. Smart, smart, smart. So they built, like, a uh, in, inbound and outbound uh, on, on two separate bridges versus building one bridge and I think they're both two lanes which is brilliant because you know if one bridge goes down you still have the other bridge you know for whatever reason it's gonna go down or they have to shut it down they'll always have one bridge going in and out which they technically could have done it either way like they did it with the old Gatos bridge I think that both bridge was built in 1929 with no tolls and now it's 14 or 15 dollars to go to that toll i have an easy pass but i think it's set up for a car so i'm paying car rates i gotta pull up the uh, easy pass and um and have them have them change it over to motorcycle. I think I get a discount. Alright, so let's uh, see if uh, we're going over the new bridge. It's awesome. It looks so cool. It's like that bridge they built in Boston. You know, this is like the new way they're building the bridges. No more like heavy, heavy expansion bridges like the uh, Verrazano Bridge, the Gothos Bridge, the Bayonne Bridge. Uh, the Brooklyn Bridge was like one of the first, I think the first expansion bridge that was ever made and that was in New York yeah and then they tried to build 
bridges before that, but they failed until they figured it out how to anchor the uh, um, how to anchor them. Okay, so it looks like uh, it's a go with the uh, with the new bridge. Wow, it looks awesome. It's a far cry, like these new bridges from the old bridges. What a big difference. You know, engineering came a long way. So, I mean, it could be the better steel that they're using and the better cables, you know, better ways for them to tie up, to anchor the cables into the, into the bedrock. You know, because they have to anchor those cables to hold up, you know, the suspension part. Right now, we're on a ramp, climbing up, you know, to the actual bridge. And the Verrazano Bridge is amazing. I mean, it's huge. I mean, hopefully the uh, upper level is open or else we're gonna have to take the lower level. Yep, look at that. It looks funny, like it doesn't even look like a bridge. Like that looks, like the old Gatos Bridge looks like a bridge. And this bridge looks like, it's modern. It's modern technology. It's pretty cool. I don't know what they're gonna, I wonder if they're gonna take that bridge down. Anybody know? Leave the comments. You wanna do a little uh, research? A little splitting? Ooh, thank you. Thank you. Right, it's moving. I scrape. It's moving. It's moving. Porsche. Porsche. Yeah. Wow, check it out. Awesome. Nice views. Now you can see everything. This is pretty cool. I'm glad you guys are on coming along for the ride. Pretty, pretty cool. Jersey barriers. Yep, I ain't going between those two trucks. Oh yeah, nice. You guys, hope you guys can see. Look at that. Pretty. Oh, I'm walking the bike in first gear. Walking the bike. Wow, check it out. Oh, this is awesome. Now I don't know if there's the Easy Pass on this. Like I was, I was looking on Google and they were saying that you gotta pay or something like that. Like. Without easy pass, I guess they're gonna take that bridge down. Or they should make that like a truck bridge only. That would make that would be smart. Wow, that's pretty cool. This bridge is fantastic. Okay, so look at that. This bridge is done. We're on the inbound that's completed. And there's another bridge there that they're working on, so they're gonna build two. So this is a pretty big bridge. This is a four lane bridge. And the, uh, I think the old Gatos bridge was four lanes and real tight. I mean, it was narrow, very narrow, very scary to drive over. I didn't, I wasn't afraid, but <laughs> it was, it seemed kind of scary at times. I'm gonna take my time. Look at this, they're working. I had a boy, you, you do it boys. Look at that big crane. Wow, look at all concrete. Or is that steel? Yeah, this is some bridge. And there's the Bayonne Bridge right over there, that, that rounded one. So the reason why they built this bridge was to accommodate the big ships that are gonna come through here. Because, you know, New Jersey has like the largest uh, shipping port in the East Coast. So it's probably the largest next to California. It's probably the largest in the United States. You know, then you have, uh, uh, you know, Jacksonville, you have all those, you know, they're small, like Philly. 
So there's uh, there's the there's the, the Gotham Bridge, there's Manhattan. Those are the, the terminals, and they spent all this money to accommodate these gigantic ships that they're building. That they're probably not going to make any money with them, because look at that. Isn't that cool? Man, that'd be a nice place to go and ride a drive. You know, get in a canoe and check out that uh, those canals. All right, so they have easy pass. They look good. Wow, I never even saw this. Even this existed. I got the best view. Uh, it's pretty cool. Beautiful. Nice engineering. Nice design. Very nice. So now we're going to go on the uh, Staten Island Expressway. It can be a parking lot at times. It can be. Alright. Carly. What's up, bro? Nice bike. Guy okay, smoking a cigarette while he's riding? Alright. I haven't had a cigarette. In two months, but I'm not a really big smoker. You know, I, well, you know, something I, I was like maybe two years ago. I was smoking every day. You know, like when I did smoke a pack, last me like a week, like that. I didn't smoke. Like, I didn't go outside and smoke all day like some guys. And they smoke a pack, two packs a day. Yeah, excuse me. There we go. Okay, so probably they're gonna have to close the uh, the other bridge. They're just gonna leave it up. And uh, because there's only one ramp, so it probably can't accommodate uh, all the uh, all the traffic from both bridges, you know, inbound and outbound. So it's probably going to be when they finish the other bridge. That's going to be the this is going to be the outbound where we just came over. I mean, the inbound to New York. And the other side that when it's complete is going to be the outbound. All right, so these guys are having a conversation. I don't know how anybody can get lost today or extra directions. I mean, if you have a phone, you could get there. You know, unless he's trying to talk to that pretty lady, trying to get a phone number. An outbound toll. Uh, I don't know, I haven't been over this bridge in a long time, so they might have done that. <laughs> you know, we get people on to get people uh, round trip. But well, let's see, heavy delays, bike parkway, we're not going there. We'll take a ride to Coney Island on Sunday. Okay, so, so it's still free. So it looks like it's easy pass only, wow. No more tolls, they put those tolls down. I don't know if you saw that. So here's the Verizon Bridge. This, this bridge was a marvel. This, this was considered the seventh wonder of the world. Or one of the seventh wonders of the world. If it still is. I don't know if they're allowed to change that, but... I remember one time it was the uh, seventh wonder of the world. Because no one could imagine having a bridge like this. So, like, all these people here are going to... Oh, uh, that was a nice move. Who thought that guy had to drive? All these people here are going on the Bell Parkway, supposedly, technically, but they're going to cut each other off. I'm going to get over here so uh, you guys get a better view of the Hudson River. Now, if you guys live down here, you, you can come on the Shore Road side, the Brooklyn side, and catch stripers. So, I don't know if you can see that guy down there, he's fishing. But you can get fruit here, stripers, bear, I mean, you can get a lot of fish. Blue fish. Uh, all kinds of stuff. Corgis, snappers, flounder, fluke, in season, blackfish. Well, you can get nothing. But there's this whole thing over there. Then they would take a ride down there to Bell Parkway. It's, it's not, you know, anything. But down there, it's like all that. It's a long stretch. And what's cool about that is it's really fun for bike riding. Because you can start like, down at 16th Street Pier. See, and drive all the way down to Caesars Bay. And keep going too, if you want. Right up to Queens. So there's the view here from Manhattan, Jersey City. It's all the way to the left. Manhattan is over there. Now we're heading up to Brooklyn. Brooklyn at one time was the third largest city in the world. Isn't that something? Population. It, it 
could have changed now. I don't know. Our book when, uh, when I lived here had 3 million people. So with the, with the illegals, it's probably 4 million, which it probably is. I mean, it's not only Hispanics that are illegal. There's a lot of illegals from everywhere. I mean, they just come and they stay. This is Fort Hamilton Army Base. I used to be a member. Hoorah! I used to drill here back in the day. Back in the day, I used to drill here. And, um, yeah, so now we're going into Brooklyn. So this is the entrance here for the belt. That's a pretty cool ride. To the cops, get, cops are pulling people over crossing that right line. Uh, we're not in Red Hook yet. No, yeah, this might be Red Hook, right over here. So there's the Manhattan. This is where Sun, this is Park Slope or Sunset Park to the right. And this is expensive. <laughs> ghetto. When I was when I was living here, this was ghetto. This was the ghetto. We were living in the ghetto, and who knew? They're building all new stuff. Yeah, this is Red Hook, Third Avenue. There's a big hospital here, but man. So there's a person that on the bike. In the car you really can't see as much. You see a lot more on the bike. I was really surprised on the view from the uh, Doctor's Bridge. Wow. Or the new one, whatever they're going to call it. But they're going to rename it something else. Brooklyn has 360 bridges in total. Now that's counting the major bridges and the little bridges that you go over little canals because you know Brooklyn, Queens, and Long Island is one island together. Then you have Manhattan Island, then you have Staten Island, and then you have the Bronx because it's different that it's connected to the continent the continental United States. So technically everybody who lives on Brooklyn, Queens, and the entire Long Island is living on an island that's surrounded by water. And everyone living in oops, everyone living in uh, Manhattan is living on an island and same for the Staten Island girls, they live on an island. Probably the cheapest place you can buy a house right now in New York City is on Staten Island. Now, why people want to live in Brooklyn is the only There's no parking, it's crowded, the stores, the pro I mean, it's just, what's the point? You know, there's so much better places to live. Okay, so now this is, another, this is a bridge that we're going over the, uh, the Gowanus Canal. So we're heading on to that now, and this is the, the uh, so this will take you to Coney Island, exit 4. Ocean Parkway, right to Coney Island. Or you could take the, uh, the Big Curie. So this is the Gowanus now. I'm sorry, this is the, uh, this is a bridge. That takes you over the uh, the Guayanas Canal, and as you can see, there's a lot of traffic. Let me signal this guy. This guy wants to get in. Whoa, 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 whoa! All right, thank you for slowing down. Thank you. Yep. Walking the bike. So you can see nobody wants to pay. <laughs> well, I want to go over to Brooklyn Bridge. So if you pay the uh, the battery tunnel, which is just a tunnel. I mean, if you've been in one tunnel, you've been through the wall. Uh, you, uh, 
you, you're not going to be able to go over the Brooklyn or the Manhattan Bridge. The Manhattan Bridge is okay. You know, the Brooklyn Bridge is, it's, either way, there's, there's a ramp for both of them right next to each other. So, like, the Brooklyn Bridge will take you to Wall Street. The Manhattan Bridge will take you to uh, Chinatown and Little Italy. Chinatown is bigger than Little Italy now, so you say Chinatown. All right. Thanks, bro. Yep, no only trucks. So now here it is, Brooklyn Queens Expressway. And we're gonna go through the uh, Hamilton Expressway. I got so Hamilton Avenue. And it's it's pretty light traffic. So why pay the toll? When this leaves you out in the same spot, you know, maybe a few blocks away from the, uh, from the, from the tunnel. I mean, if you're a taxi and you want to charge your customer the rate, the, the toll, then, you know, it's up to you. But then again, look at the traffic. I mean, you know, some of these guys, you know, they're in a rush, business people, time is money. So... They'll pay the toll and the city make some uh, some cash. Let me open up a little bit. Oh, feels better. Hey, not too bad. Nicely freshly paved. First gear. Alright. Alright. So this is usually a clusterfuck because of the people uh, merging. This whole thing is always a clusterfuck. Unless like at night time, you know, you can come here at night and uh, there's not that much traffic. But this is like a, a, an expressway where you could, you could go as fast as you want and there's no, uh, you're not going to get pulled over. Second gear. Look at that. a lot of these black cars are Uber drivers. There's, there's so many Uber drivers, it's not funny. So that's how Uber's able to uh, lower their rates. Because the more drivers they get, they can lower the rates on the drivers and raise their initial payment to make more money. You know, to pay back all the, the creditors. <clears throat> Alright, so now we're going to see some pretty cool views. So this is a pretty famous roadway here. I mean, this, this thing must see millions of cars. Millions. Somebody should come here and count them. Thank you. Right lane closed, expect the legs. Really? What else is new? Really? Second, third gear. Second gear. I want to get an automatic. What's the point? First gear. All right. Throaty. Zip car. Oh, okay, so that, that, that holds it up a little bit. You know, people merging and nobody wants to let nobody in. Now, think about it. If 10% of these of people that were in these cars were on scooters or bikes, it would relieve 40% of traffic. That's why in California, they made lane splitting completely legal. So police cannot, in any form, unless they're driving over a certain speed while uh, splitting, 
then they then the, the police can pull you over so you can't like speed while you lane split you can like like now I'm, I'm just lane splitting but i'm doing it you know i'm just going in and out of cars i'm changing lanes technically you know because this is the whole fun of it <laughs> this lane splitting there it is the brooklyn bridge look at that view isn't that fantastic that is beautiful there's the the empire state building the Brooklyn Bridge, they're putting up that building, whatever that is, and here's the skyline, yeah, check that out, check that out, people, check that out, this used to be oil industrial uh, waterfront, where people came here and, uh, and worked ships and barges, and it's closed, it's all uh, commercial now with this. Neutral. Oh, 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 oh. That wasn't too good. Yeah. Yeah. It's all part of the fun. You know, the, that's what, you know, they're building this up to make it, you know, for people to have fun. You know, so technically those are like, you know, parks on top of the water. Look at that. Isn't that nice? That building. Oh yeah, thank you. Let me change lanes because we're gonna now we're heading on to the uh, Brooklyn Bridge. There's the first tower. Who built the Brooklyn Bridge? Leave a comment below. I would. I wonder how many people know that. Probably like architectural students know that. This, this is now if you come over here, Captain Plaza, that's where there's Patsy's, and uh, it's really cool down here. You could get a great view of the of the skyline. Very awesome. And I've been there before. Look at that glass building. Yeah, let's just build out of glass. 1020 rocks. See now you can see people walking over the Brooklyn Bridge. Hello. I did that, uh, I think at the 4th of July, something like that, no, not the 4th of July, yeah, we walked over, oh, put in the horn, second gear, so I guess they're going to clean this up, let the people in, I don't see why not, make a park out of it, it makes sense, or parking, you know, people need parking. This is all residential, where it, it used to be all industrial. So that's the Manhattan Bridge. So now we're heading on to the uh, Brooklyn Bridge. You gotta be real careful here. I mean, there's a lot of like stopping and going, and I'm vlogging, and I'm trying to look around, and I'm doing it for you guys. And I'm having fun too. It's so exciting. So here's the, Brook here's the Brooklyn Bridge. Brooklyn. Wow, look at all the people come, walking over into Brooklyn and into Manhattan, all these tourists doing it, you know, pretty nice view here. Just taking my time. Definitely guys, if you come to our uh, New York or Brooklyn or any general area, definitely come and walk over the Brooklyn Bridge. I mean, you can do it at night, it's even nicer. I would do it like when it's going to turn, when it's turning, and then, if you, then on the way back you get the dark view, you know, at night time. That's awesome. And that's the FDR Drive, better known as the Suicide Drive. <coughs> Look at that. Flag at half mass for the police officer who was senseless, senselessly shot for no reason at all.
my, my thoughts and prayers goes out to the family. Looked like a very nice woman. I think she was a veteran too. Oh, she was a nurse. So I guess she got bored nursing. Yep. So this is like uh, the court area right here. Cabin Plaza. Chamber Street. Look at all these people. We got Billy Dog here too. Look at all these people. Look at this place. Loaded, loaded. Street art. Made in China. <laughs> okay, so. I'm going to stop here. Open my shield. I hope it's not in your way. I'm going to bring it down a little more. Oh. Uh-huh. Yeah, all the tourists. Yeah. Yeah. You... I, would, I would come to New York in the fall. I want to come in the summertime. There's so many people. You know what the Romans do in Rome in the summer? They leave. You know why? Because it's the world goes to Rome in the summertime. <laughs> In August, it's just so crowded. So we're going to uh, make a left here down Dwayne Street. No, not Dwayne Street. This is Dwayne Street. Lafayette Street. Usually, I would come down Elk Street. All right, taxis. Yeah, those are they're the best drivers. Right in the clutch. Yeah, taxi drivers. Taxi drivers love to honk their horn, and I'm surprised I haven't heard one yet. All right, I'm not gonna go split this bus and this big truck. First gear. See, now if I had automatic, I'd just be cruising. I wouldn't have to worry about my gear, especially in traffic like this. All right, the hell up. There we are. There we are. This is a little park. A nice little parky. Let me straighten my head out so I'm straight. No. This is a this is a little clusterfuck down here. Uh, Tribeca Park. So we're in Tribeca. Master of the obvious. Yep. American Thread Company. So just thinking that that gigantic building they had, I don't know if you can see that, 260, was the American Thread Company. How much industry and thread they made in New York and shipped it all over the world. If they had, if they were able to put up a building like that to manage the accounts. You know, look how tight that is. Right? <laughs> I'm not as stupid as I look. Don't call me Sonny for nothing. All right, now we got plenty of room here. Thank you. Uh, thank you. You see, see these guys, these cab drivers, the worst. Where the fuck is he going? Think about it. Where am I going? I'm gonna go next to that guy. Oh, bro. What is nice Honda? Uh, 919. What's going on here? Pay attention to me. It's a nice bike. Where's this guy going? What's up, bro? So this is the entrance to the Holland Tunnel. You can see the sign. <laughs> but this takes you to the West Side Highway. I mean, I could technically have went round and yada, yada, yada. This is real tight. There's no point in going through. So there's a car over there and I'll just get stuck in there. 
to hang out with this guy. The other thing they should do is they should make all bike shaft. I mean, if you're not going to really race it, you're still going to get power out of it enough that'll satisfy your uh, walk in the bike. You know, satisfy your desire to go fast. But, I mean, look at the BMWs. You know, the... The Yamaha uh, FJR 1300. You know, that's 155 horsepower and it's got a shaft. And that bike's a rocket. In my pocket. I got a rocket in my pocket. Hey, he's walking it. He's doing a one footer. I was doing a double footer. I got a rocket in my pocket. Look at that four song, bro. What a beast. They put that they put those engines in freaking cars. Hondas. That's, that's probably like one of the best bikes you can buy. Honda. I mean they're they're not, you know, but they're just super reliable. You get one like that in fuel injection, that's it. Thing will never break down. And if you've had a Honda that broke down, leave a comment below. <laughs> I gotcha. Gotcha. This is all residential. This is the one time it was all factories. All of this. It was all now it's all like, you know, living living quarters. Everybody here is dying to go through the tunnel. When now we're gonna go through the uh, GW. Look at this. Crazy. So once we pass this light, we're home free. And it, it, I mean, it moves. It moves. I'm sure when they built this tunnel, they never expected this this amount of thou hun hun thousands upon thousands of cars every day, every single day. Constantly going through uh, this tunnel, in and out. Inbound and outbound. There's probably never a time when there's no cars in the tunnel. It's just 24 hours. Same goes with the Lincoln Tunnel. The Brooklyn Battery Tunnel, eh, that, that probably would have a downtime when there's no cars. Because, you know, when it's really late at night and there's no traffic, you just take the Brooklyn Bridge. It's right there. Either you take the tunnel or you take the Brooklyn Bridge. There's no, uh, it's not like you got to drive three, four miles out of your way to, to go there. Two bars of fuel left. I mean, I could technically, but that's a nice bike. Look at this guy be honking. Come on, where are you gonna go? Probably an Uber. Oh yeah. Oops, foot it. I had my foot down. All right. What's up, bro? Fellow biker. All bikers are chill. We all like each other. We don't know each other. We never saw each other in our lives. We're like, yo, bro, what's up? It's like the thing. That's like a that's like a, that's a four cylinder. Boxster engine. That's the Honda Boxster engine. See? Yeah, baby. Damn. There's probably, there's cops all over here. It's not even worth it. And there's people blowing lights this way. You know, that's not that big of an aircraft carrier. But then again, you know, you need ships of all different sizes. That's what she said. What? Hey, who said that? <laughs> uh. 
walking the bike, <laughs> dragging my feet. There it is. The only thing is, like, you really can't. I, I was on it years and years and years ago. Oh, they, they did enclosures on the top. That's different. I think, like, they show movies in that. It's like they, they won't let you in the ship. Like, to, to see the inside of the. Oh, I guess maybe you can. I don't know. But when I was there, it was, it was different. They probably changed it all up now. Oh, it's the Intrepid. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. The Intrepid. Look at that thing on top of that. What is that? The Batmobile? Wow. You're not, you're not really doing anything but getting up into gears when you shift. So you're not accomplishing anything. You're not making the bike better by shifting it. I forgot what this road is called. Henry Hudson Parkway. There it is. We're on the Henry Hudson. Who knows who Henry Hudson is? Leave a comment below. Hi. I'm here in Starbucks. Uh, my card filled up, 64 gigs at 7:20. So if I ride at 10:80, it just fills up one to three. So at 7:20, I get more ride. It looks good. So uh, thanks for watching. I'm having my coffee, listening to this music, and uh, peace out. Don't forget like, share, subscribe, comment, check out the links. Talk to you guys later.